Are you a business owners? And somehow considering Web 3.0 for your business? Then, you might as well check out this video. But before we start, disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor and this video is not a financial advice. Please do your own research in every investment you make. Web3 is a version of the internet that is decentralized and based on blockchain. Experts say that it will make big tech less powerful because users will have more control over which services they use. As a result, it could completely change the way businesses work. So, what should we know about Web3? Stay tuned until the end of the video, and let us all find out. As Web 3.0 grows and technologies like blockchain get better, the internet will change, and businesses will have to change with it. Web 3.0, also known as Web 3, improves security and makes it easier for people to see what's going on. With the change from static Web 1.0 to interactive and dynamic Web 2.0, Businesses have grown and come up with new ideas because they can reach customers worldwide. But if you want to know where the internet is going with Web 3.0, you need to know how it got to where it is now. You now understand how the web has changed over time. But the internet is going through another big change right now. Imagine a new kind of internet that correctly interprets what users type and understands everything they say in the text, voice, or other ways. All the content users see and hear would be more personalized. Enter Web 3.0. Gavin Wood, who helped make Ethereum, came up with the terms Web 3.0 and Web 3 in 2014. Tim Berners-Lee, who created the World Wide Web, first called Web 3.0 the semantic web. Web 3.0 is the next generation of the internet, through technologies like machine learning, big data, decentralized ledger technology, etc., and websites. And apps will be able to process information in a way similar to how humans do it. This will give end users a smarter and more connected web experience. History of the Web Tim Berners-Lee created the World Wide Web in 1990 when he set up the first web server. Back then, the only people who used the internet were researchers for the government and military, and college students. Web 1.0 is the name for the very first versions of websites. Before the domain name system, people used their IP addresses to get to websites. Websites are used just to show text, pictures, and links. Users couldn't change the data and couldn't do anything with it. Simple HTML designs were used to show text and pictures on Web 1.0. In the early days of the web, people mostly read the content instead of making it. It was the time of dial-up computers, so pages had to be as small and light as possible. Websites could take minutes to load. Web 1.0 was around before smartphones, so desktop computers were the only way to get to it. Around the turn of the 21st century, the Web 2.0 era began. Interactivity is what sets Web 2.0 apart. Pages were no longer set in stone, instead, they were made on the fly for each user. As the reach of broadband grew, the pages got bigger and more complicated. More and more people started to stream music and videos. With the arrival of Web 2.0, people started making their content. Before MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram took off. There were sites like GeoCities that were the first social media. Through blogs, tweets, and social media networks, Web 2.0 gave users a lot more ways to contribute and interact. Slowly, we're getting a better idea of what Web 3.0 means. First, Web 3.0 wants to be completely decentralized, meaning that content will be made by the people who make it and not by the people who own the platform. Tim Berners-Lee had a lot of these ideas in mind when he first made the web. What does Web 3.0 mean for business? Blockchain and Web 3.0 technologies can help businesses and their customers be more honest and trustworthy by making a record of transactions that can't be changed. Customers can see where their products are at every step of the production process if they can see the supply chain in real time. Web 3.0 is safer and less expensive because it is spread out. 
Because of decentralization, user data is not kept in one place, making it less likely to be lost or attacked. Web 3.0 apps don't need expensive servers and data centers because they are spread out. Instead, they can run on a network of computers that end users provide. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum are used by Web 3.0 to make transactions happen in real time. Banks, which can take days to process an international purchase, aren't involved in the transactions. A transaction in cryptocurrency can happen in minutes or even seconds. Social media are also a lot safer because of Web 3.0. First, users own their data, not the social media network. Users can stop their personal information from being sold in this way. Second, it will stop people from using bots, making fake accounts, trolling, and sending spam. This will make it harder for con artists and other shady online sellers to get in. In the same way, it will stop fake news and made-up stories, which can hurt a company's reputation. Untrustworthy news sources won't have to be checked by a third-party source, which can also be untrustworthy. With Web 3.0 apps like Prover, users can check the blockchain to see if a news source is reliable. Because Web 3.0 is decentralized and doesn't have any central servers, there are fewer chances for network downtime, which can lead to huge business losses. Web 3.0 is still in its early stages, and new companies that use it are just now starting to appear. Businesses should keep an eye on how it develops so they can take advantage of any chances that come up as Web 2.0 fades away and Web 3.0 becomes the norm. So what do you think Web 3.0 can do in the future? That would be all for today's video and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel as well and like this video.